suplex. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Saturday, March 13th, 2021. Thank you for tuning in to Thoughts Count Anywhere, coming to you live from the Gold Live Vegas studios in the heart of Las Vegas, Nevada. We are celebrating St. Patty's Day a few days early here in the studio and Ides of March, gentlemen. Joining me, of course, at the head table, the chief in the middle, Matt Mullen on the far end, Aaron E on the board. The table. What's that? Oh, he's the real head. <laughs> Chief, yes, right. Our own very own tribal chief joins us here today. Our phone number is 702-329-6947. Press the number one to come into the studio. If you're outside the United States, that would include Canada. 855-502-4321. I said that for our producer. 855-502-4321. And of course, send us a live tweet using hashtag thoughts count anywhere. And uh, it'll appear on If I screen. was you, I'd shut my mouth. <laughs> this world's strongest man is right there. He's on it. Anyway, gentlemen, how was your week? My week was outstanding. 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 You're outstanding somewhere? I, was. I hear somebody's audio. Somebody's phone is on. Somebody's phone is on. Cardinal rule number one. Oh, uh, Matt says, oh, yeah. <laughs> was it you? No. No, okay. All right, no worries. Maybe it's just feedback in my headset. No worries. All right. So you were doing. So you were outstanding for the whole week. Outside, you were standing the entire week. I was. Okay. Were you trying to accomplish something? I was. I was getting ready for Otto's. Uh, oh. <laughs> for Otto's twelve-hour thing. Oh, that's right. His, his <laughs> promo. His long promo. Mr. Matt, how are you since we last congregated? Pretty good. Just dealing with all the nutcases downtown. I'm telling you, one show we're going to simply dedicate. To all those stories. I think we I have got to. a crazy bum this week with a YouTube video. That was fun. Yeah, he had a YouTube video? No, I used a YouTube video oh, to gotcha. like traumatize somebody. <laughs> okay. YouTube, the power of good. Hey, listen, joining us today. Listen, you guys remember the Walt Disney movie, The Beauty and the Beast? Right? You guys know that movie? I'm the beast. Uh, well, the three of us are beasts because we got one hell of a beauty joining us here after break. Yes, we Ms. Do. Jennifer Thomas will be joining us, a young lady who's been involved in pro wrestling for many years and has now gone on to other projects, which I'll have her talk about because one of those projects has an event on March 23rd, uh, Tuesday, at the FSW Arena here in town. And um, what adjective shall I use? Let's just use the word fantasy-like. Eloquent. Eloquent. Stunning, beautiful. I like, I like that. You like that? I like that. Okay, think slinky clothing. That's all I got to say. <laughs> is that good? Anyway, Jennifer will join us here. She is in studio. She's brightened up our studio. She is here ready to rock and roll. She'll be joining us here at the table after our break. But with that, you know what it's time for. It's time for I Hear Voices. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Where's your bell? No, we, we, we didn't unpack it. There's a lot up here this uh, week, so we just figured we'll... You know, Chief was, Otto, I think, threw Chief out for a little <laughs> doozy last week and kind of took him off his bell ringing rhythm last week. <laughs> so we'll figure we'll give it a break. Anyway, I hear a voice. Rumor is that management is making so many changes to WrestleMania 37 outside of the two championship matches that we already know. Plans have been totally scrapped in the back to square one. Concern for WrestleMania for that? Not knowing where they're heading? No, I'm sure whatever they're going to do, it'll end up being a good show. WrestleMania is always one of the highlights of the year. So whatever they plan on doing, hopefully it's good. Hey, Vince, let me give you a shout out. Will you lower the ticket prices so oh my people God. can afford to come, please? You know, we're just getting over COVID and we're starting to open back up. Um, lower the prices of the tickets a little bit so people can really come and enjoy themselves you cheap son of a bitch that was, <laughs> what's it well, I, I know i shared the article with you it was like a couple of hundred bucks for the cheap seats right and then like 15 or two thousand dollars for floor seats or whatever 2500 2500 oh my god are you kidding me and now because it's a two-night event they're trying to get and, and i was one of the stories here but it broke yesterday they want to try to get forty-five thousand people per day yes into the stadium uh come april for the the weekend event yes. so uh, pretty interesting to see what happens there. But, you know, part of it, I think that he's scrapping it. He's concerned about leaks, right? So somebody's out there always talking about what cards are going to happen, what's going to happen. Listen, here we are. We're like, what, three weeks away, roughly, 
three, four weeks away from WrestleMania, yeah. and there's been no build for anything towards WrestleMania with the exception of the championship matches. Correct. And one in question now with Asuka. Yes. Uh, you know, I mean, she's still under concussion protocol. You know, the doctors haven't released her. You know, what's going to happen? That's, that's, that's a good point there. I don't know. It, it'll be interesting to see how quickly stories can develop, will develop between both brands. And rumor has it NXT is not going to be involved in WrestleMania itself, with the exception they have their own event taking place, which I know yeah. we'll talk about in a little bit. All right, let's go on to the next topic. Speed of sound slows down a little bit between here and the bell. <laughs> okay, fast lane. Drew McIntyre will face Sheamus in a last man standing match, and the winner will face Lashley for the WWE Championship. Gentlemen? Can I put my stimulus check on the winner of this match? Because only one makes sense. Okay, and that would be? Drew, Mc... Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. I agree. And... and... Is this where Drew wins the belt back at WrestleMania? In front of people? Absolutely. I think, think it will so. finally give him his WrestleMania moment. Yeah. Because last time he won it in front of nobody, he beat Lesnar. So. Yeah, totally agree. Well, beating Lesnar is not much anyway, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it wouldn't surprise me if, if actually at that match, regardless of who Lashley's facing, for all these years, 10, 15 years, people have been wanting to see Lesnar and Lashley go at it in the ring. Could Lesnar get involved in the WrestleMania match if that's the direction that they go? And screw it up for everybody. Now, that would be the one match that I would like to see happen. And Lashley just beat the crap out of him. Can't say as I disagree. And because, I mean, and, and Matt, help me out. Doesn't, doesn't uh, Lashley have some uh, MMA experience also? Yeah. Yeah, he is a Bellator fighter. Well, yeah. there you go. So it'll be interesting. What's the age difference? I mean, those guys, there are they pretty close in age? I'll check. I'm just curious. I'm not sure. Yeah. By the way, dude, freaking, thinking of McIntyre, remember the good old days of pro wrestling when they automatically had the 30-day rematch clauses? Whatever happened to that? Anybody? Can anybody tell me whatever happened to the rematch clause that the ex-champ who lost the belt had the right to invoke within 30 days? Well, that, that went out the window when Vince became in charge. I don't know. That's, you know. I'm, I'm serious. That's a shame. I'm, no, I'm I, serious. I get it. No, no, I, I, I understand that. Or the 30-day must. I get the 30-day you must defend your title clause because of injury or you're this or, or you're that. Um, but I don't know. I, I kind of miss the fact that a former champ has 30 days to go after their belt to get it back within that first month. I, I, but. I, you're right. Can can I go off uh, Can I go off script for a minute? Sure. I, I want to throw a shout out and, and a congratulations to uh, the new women's tag team champions on NXT, Shotzi <laughs> Blackheart and Amber Moon. <laughs> <laughs> you, you okay? <laughs> you okay over there? You need a little water? <laughs> no freaking angry I was on Wednesday. Oh, I, oh. I thought it was outstanding. The I'm match. So, the match itself. You're talking about. Or just the fact that they became champs? The, they became the champions. I'm, I'm so glad because, like I said a couple weeks ago, you know, it was time for Shotzi to get the push, and she finally got it, and I'm so happy for her. There you go. Right. <clears throat> so we could, skip, we could skip that one, though, in the <laughs> WWE report now. All right, uh, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor is that the WWE now is going to start fining for thigh slaps. Vince needs money. <laughs> Vince needs money. <laughs> That's all he just sold the network to Peacock for crying out loud. That's all it boils down to. Jeez. Vince and money. How much are they finding? Was there ever a report that came out showed how much they were going to be finding people? I haven't heard, but that thigh slap thing is getting out of hand, so I kind of don't blame them. That's why I did it. Last, that's why I did it last week when I, you know, when Otto went like this and I went like that. That's why I did it. When but it now, gets to the point, like, people are thigh-slapping, like, kicks to flags and yeah. all this other nonsense. And Randy Orton's even calling people out on Twitter. Being like, oh, let me know when the next leg, leg hitting class is. So I can come down to the PC. Uh, <laughs> I would love to. If anybody out there knows what the fine will be for leg slapping, I would love to know. 702-329-6947, press number one to come into the studio, 855-502-4321. Or if you know the answer and want to drop it into the chat room, uh, that would be cool. Garth says, we need a guy like Jack Tunney to rule the WWE. 
I agree. Been a while. Yeah, it has. It has. <laughs> Garth says, if they're going to find people for lake slaps, they need to find Vince for bad storylines. Truth. Needs to get some creative writers. That's it. Need some creativity. 702-329-6947. All right. Uh, real quickly, I want to send a shout out to someone who follows the show, who's a former wrestler over at uh, Future Stars of Wrestling, Mr. Jeff Ward. We want to send our quick uh, healing prayers and thoughts. James Ward. James Ward. I'm sorry. James Ward. Jeez. How do I have Jeff? James Ward. James, James, James. Um, he has appendix burst this week. Ooh. Have you guys ever experienced appendix pain? No. No, but I've had a pain in my ass. Well, that's a different, that's a different kind of pain. Oh. Don't tell your wife that, though. That's not, that's not good. Oh, uh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Don't go there. No, I know. Yeah, um, yeah apparently he's been sick. He was not feeling well for like a week or two. And the appendix actually burst a week or two ago, and all those fluids were inside. And he was like, I don't know why my stomach's bothering me. Finally goes to the hospital. Yeah, a, he, he had to have an emergency appendectomy. Yeah, it can actually kill you from what yeah. you know. Yeah, because the acids in there yeah. are toxic. Yes, so, they are. Anyway, James, get better. And, Please uh, get better. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate. Our prayers and, and thoughts go out to you. And as a, as a uh, former wrestler, we may see him every once in a while come in and uh, do the bell for us periodically. Alleviate that from you every once in a while, Chief, so you can focus. If I'd have thought about it, I'd have taken the bell to him. We could have done a remote. There you go. From, from his hotel. From his, hotel. From his hospital. From his hospital. Room. Live yeah. from UMC Trauma. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right. Any other topics? No, that does it for I Hear Voices, which is good, which means we are early by a couple of minutes, which means we have more time. Oh, let's get this beautiful lady up yeah, here. Yeah, Jennifer Thomas will be joining us on the other side of a break. Thank you for watching Thoughts Count Anywhere, the show where all of our thoughts do matter. If you ask John Cena, we'll be back with Jennifer Thomas in 60 seconds. This is John Cena. I just, I just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast, Thoughts Count Anywhere, because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count any? I just wonder, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much, congratulations, and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere, because they do. If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast ever. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! All right, welcome back. Thoughts Count Anywhere. Matt, Chief, Aaron, Aaron, now joining us. Finally making us look good after two years of having, <laughs> having somebody make us guys look good up here. Miss Jennifer Thomas, former professional wrestler in the WWE and then some, and now she's got some of her own projects that have been going on for quite some time. I met Jennifer at an event last year at FSW where I had the privilege of being one of the ring announcers for one of her shows there. First time I met her and the ladies that were involved. And uh, you got stuff going on uh, actually on the 23rd and then some. So welcome to Thoughts Count Anywhere. Yeah, thank you for having me here. My absolute pleasure. We need something to pretty us up here. I'm so <laughs> glad you were available to come in. So tell me now, I, you know, I'd like to, I usually like to lob the softball. And that is very basically, how did you get into pro wrestling in the first place? Because you have the background of fitness and, and all of that. What was it about wrestling that got you involved? It came out of nowhere. I, I moved from Seattle to Venice Beach to pursue whole fitness bodybuilding scene. Mm -hmm. So I'm a believer that if you want to be the best, you have to hang out with the best. There you go. And uh, so anyways, I was at the gym, Venice Gold's gym, the mm -hmm. mecca of fitness and bodybuilding. The God, and the palace. Right? I was not even into wrestling at that time. Okay. So wrestling came to me. I didn't necessarily go to it. 
Um, but Mark Henry was there, Luther Reigns was there. Okay. Um, and it was just kind of like um, even Stone Cold was there, The Rock right was there. Wow. So, but anyways, um, they, they planted the seed because I was kind of going through a transition in my life where mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I'm kind of tired of dieting. <laughs> I, want a, I want an enjoyable cereal. In the there morning. you go. There you, you know? go. Don't look at me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So, so what was it like for you the first time that you stepped in a ring to begin your training? And I, was there any point early on you said, what was I thinking? I mean, absolutely. <laughs> for, I probably like the I, minute you stepped in. I stepped in and I stepped out. <laughs> 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 like, but, like, seriously, I did. I thought it was going to, you know, in my mind, you know, it was um, entertainment. It was sure. theatrical. It mm -hmm. was, I didn't realize the... Um, it is real. The choreography of making it happen but, with yeah, all the real action. But yeah, when you get slammed, action. you get slammed. You oh, know what absolutely. I mean? So it's just like I didn't think it was going to be so tough on the body as right, it was. And right. so I cried for like the first six weeks of class. Wow. You know, so it was you had to train your body to get abused. Yeah, because doing that stuff is so counterintuitive to what we want to protect ourselves. Correct. Now all of a sudden we're saying, oh, no, you got to take a bump on the pad, and, you know, on the mat, and how do we do that? So mm -hmm. it's counterintuitive to what we normally would do. Yep. Well, you had a great trainer, Navajo Warrior. Yes. You had a real great trainer there. I know. There. I know. So he, he put you through the, the ropes. Oh, he did. He did. He, I actually started with Rick Bassman at UPW. Okay. With the Ballard Brothers. Yep, yep, yep. And then um, went to, over to Arizona okay. uh, with Navajo Warrior. And uh, yes, he was definitely a wonderful instructor for me. So you were part of Ohio Valley Wrestling, which over the years has been thought of as the early developmental wrestling territory for the WWE. Oh, what was that like? Well, who was your very first professional match against? Let me ask that question. Gosh, Do you remember? I don't even remember, <laughs> no. Did you win at least? Did oh you win God. your opening match? Okay, so no. Actually, I went. <laughs> did I win? Your first Come match. Come on, I was like a paid loser for oh. who knows how long. <laughs> <laughs> I got to remember. I got to write that. One. As our paid loser, that's a new job title. <laughs> paid that, yeah. Put right? that on our business cards. <laughs> yeah. But I actually started with a build a bot at okay. Cape South Wrestling in, a, in McDonough, Georgia. Oh, wow, okay. And um, the only girl there at that time was Angel Williams. Okay. And I believe also Rock, uh, Rocka Khan came okay. in. Okay. And so um, I, I did some matches with them in the developmental. Sure, sure. And then I went up to OBW, and then I was with Beth Phoenix, ODB. Wow. Um, ODB, you know, who just recently made a return to Impact Wrestling a couple I, of weeks ago. Oh, amazing. I yeah, didn't know that. Yes. That's great. Made her reappearance about two, three weeks ago, I think. That's so awesome. Yeah. She was yeah. great. Chief, Matt, what you got? Uh, what was your favorite match in your career? I believe my favorite match was when I was with Natty Nightheart and Beth Phoenix, and all three oh, of us came together. Oh, right on. Yep, and um, it was, you know, it wasn't a, a, a big TV match, but uh, it was just so great to be in the ring with, peop that, with women that were just like, in my mind, full package deal. Oh, absolutely. And when you look at what they've done, especially Natty with the, with the family lineage, mm -hmm. Beth Phoenix, we know what she's done. I mean, that's, that's a lot of wealth of wrestling knowledge there. Right. To soak up. My goodness. Yes. I, uh, Tilt your microphone just a little bit, Chief, so that this way, they, there you go. I took, I took notice on your bio. You wrestled under the name of Daisy May. <laughs> yes, that was, yes, Daisy May. My question, there, and I, I could be wrong, but I think there was a female wrestler in GLOW by the name of Daisy May. Hmm. Well, Wait, I, I, if April is listening, we can always get confirmation from April on that. <laughs> right? And, and the, the other thing, did you wrestle, with, uh, wrestle on a show with, um, and I was talking to Aaron about it, and I can't think of the lady's name. She was very uh, much involved with ECW and they did a, a, a weekly show back on the East Coast. Um, Were you involved in ECW at all? No, but I'm thinking, was that uh, Ariel Shelley Martinez? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, see, there yeah. you go. Yeah, so, that's who it was. Yeah. Right that's on. Who it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's so, going, and that's going back I, I had to think a few about, days. I had to think about. It. Yeah, <laughs> I, I had to think about it. So, do you do you stay in touch with any of the known names that people know, like the Natties and those folks? I mean, no, not necessarily Natty or Beth. Okay, but definitely with like Shelly. Okay, um, and um, 
Cat, Katie Lee Birchall. Do you remember Katie Lee Birchall? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. So um, she's like, she's like, we live like we're neighbors. <sighs> so like we're we're best friends actually. Right she on. So she's an amazing woman too, and I'm hoping that she'll make it to the event on um, April third. On April third, yes. Yes. So so she lives out here too. No, actually, she lives in L.A. In L.A., okay. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I gener- you're, you are actually based in L.A. as well. Correct. I'm okay. just always here. <laughs> She's just always here, exactly, <laughs> which tends to happen for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You know? So, that's okay. Well, this is the ninth district of Hawaii, isn't it? This is like the ninth island. I think that's so, what she told us. Something like that. Something like that. Okay. Um, all right. So, now, when did you realize that that pro career, the WWE-style stuff, was not the direction for you, and you started doing your own stuff. What, what, talk about the transition away from the professional organized WWE style of programming to doing what you are doing now. How did that all come about? Oh, that's a great question. I just remember when I was in Kentucky, living in Kentucky, that mm-hmm. uh, um, I felt like I had put so much time focusing on WWE and trying to always... I don't want to put down WWE at all. Right. But mm-hmm. all I know. Why not? Is that Everybody else does. <laughs> <laughs> you you can I, say whatever you that's want. That's right. Don't worry about it. She's right. got, okay. Chief's got your back. All right. Thank you. <laughs> um, but basically, I just felt like I had to be somebody I wasn't. Okay. So Publicly just, or even privately? Um, because, kind of both. Because kayfabe back then was very different than it is today. Mm-hmm. There was kayfabe. There was the Undertaker. You never saw him without him being the Undertaker. Right. You know, so that was a very different R at the time. Mm-hmm. And I also was a believer that, like, if, I came in very naive. Mm-hmm. So, like, in my mind, one plus one equals two. Sure. But sure. not in the entertainment business. <laughs> so, you know, I just kind of learned my lesson on that part. But I just knew that, that um, I wanted to make my own path. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to base my whole identity and my value on being approved by somebody else sure. or any kind of organization. Sure. So in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I want to just create my own. There you go. <laughs> no rules. <laughs> right? Why work for somebody else when you can work for yourself? Right? That's right. So when did that transition? What year? How, lo- how long ago was that? What, how, when did all that change for uh, you? 2008. Oh, 2008. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. It's been a while. So now you've, now you've got your own ideas. I have my own ideas. So let's talk about, though, how they, be, how they actually came to be. Because obviously you needed to talk to other people, I'm presuming. You had to organize and arrange some supporters to get behind your concept. What was that transition like now, going from being in the WWE, like, all right, now I'm going to work for myself and I've got my own vision, my own ideas. How do I make this happen? Who, was the, who were the people that you reached out to to make it happen for your support? Me, myself, and I. Oh, really? You, you just, you just kind of jumped? Because you probably already had connections being already in the business. Yes, but they didn't necessarily help me with the business I'm in now. Okay. Meaning, like, they're, I mean, they support me. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? But basically, um, it all evolved. Okay. You know, a lot of everything about, everything about my life, like I said, it just kind of comes. Right. So it's not necessarily like I have this goal or this plan. It just, it just, like I said, evolves. So, um, um. I started to do uh, mixed wrestling and um, custom wrestling, and back then it was more taboo. Okay. Like ten years ago, it was right. very more taboo. Mm-hmm. Now it's getting to be like a whole industry in its own, <laughs> you know. But I've been with it for so many years, and then I've created a platform where I help promote all these women. Gotcha. And basically, these beautiful, amazing women that have gone against the norm mm-hmm. um, are kind of like. We're like our secret treasure. And exactly. I, and I want to present that treasure to the world. Gotcha. Chief, you had a question? Matt? I didn't know. No, I was, um, was going to say that it, it's progressed to the point now where, um, you know, like you said before, it was taboo. And today, in my mind, you're the trailblazer Thank that you. has brought it along. And, um, you know... I haven't seen one of your events. I hope I get to see one of your events sometime because I've looked in uh, uh, a couple of the women that you have that work with you. I know, so uh, we'll see what happens. Let me tell you, when when I was there, was it last year? I don't. I, it was obviously before the quarantine and everything happened, so it was early last year. Um, I didn't know what to expect because Joe said, hey, are you interested? Yeah, right. sure, I'll come down and do it. And I, and I didn't really understand what it was all about. It was all kind of, I don't say not secretive, but it was like, yeah, we have an event going on. They need a ring announcer. Okay, yeah, no problem. Here I come. I see Leon. 
So, I, you know, I know Leon from, from the local wrestling scene. I'm like, okay, this is, and then I'm, I'm watching all the warm-ups and, get, and, and people stretching, and I'm like, okay, this is going to be very different. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, yes, beautiful women, all ages, all likes, all whatever. But let me tell you, they perform well in that ring, probably as well, if not more so, than what we see on television. Well, <laughs> well if you take a look at it, you got Katarina, okay, professional wrestler. Mm-hmm. Ali Parker, mm-hmm. professional wrestler. Uh, you, you know, with their expertise in the rings, um, you know, it's ju- it's got to get over. It has to get over. There are, there are a couple of uh, uh, ladies that are on your roster here in Vegas that I'm connected with on Facebook that I've yet to have the uh, privilege of meeting in person. And I hope that that day comes Absolutely. Uh, for me. Uh, our Cracks Research staff uh, asks, your first match was defeating Kiara Dillon? Kiara Dillon? Yes, that was a few years ago. <laughs> and she's going to be at the event on April 3rd. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right on. Okay. So, uh, but that was, gosh, yes. There's so many matches. Like, my life is a sure. blur. Yeah. So many, so many back bumps, you know, I'm telling you. I don't remember well, pretty yeah. much anything. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking here in OVW. You wrestled with... Uh, uh, you wrestled against ODB and Shelly in mm-hmm. a tag team match. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, they're probably two of the most creditable women in, in professional wrestling. And to be able to draw from that, I hope you draw from their expertise and you talk to them and they give you ideas. Yes. Yes. It, Everybody can provide a little bit of inspiration absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Right? There's value to everyone Absolutely. and everyone has something to offer right you know so, so here's what, what i like to do we have a couple of minutes before we go to our, our next break so let's talk about march 23rd okay it's a tuesday mm-hmm. right yeah march 23rd uh at the future stars of wrestling arena mm-hmm. talk about what's going on that night well that's the lingerie fighting championships see i told you guys would like that oh, lingerie, lingerie fighting, fighting championships, championships lfc you know what is, they... is, is that the one that leon's involved yes he's my coach that's what I mentioned before, that I walked into an event that Leanne was there. Let and me text him right now. <laughs> yes, right. See if, no, I'll wait till. Yeah. So they There's say- a vendor, too, in Neonopolis, where my work is, like before a couple FSW shows. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, anyways, they say less is more, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> right? Sex sells. Isn't that the other thing that they say? <laughs> But um, I will be going against Veronica Payne. Okay. And this is our first uh, LFC match together. Okay. We've wrestled before in the ring pro style, Mm -hmm. but this will be our first um, lingerie MMA type of match. Gotcha. Is it is it an event that's open to the public, or how does how's is it pay per view? How's all that working? You know what? I still need to find that (laughs) out because (laughs) I haven't heard anything about it. I've just seen like you know. Buy the pay per view for fourteen ninety nine. Gotcha. You know, okay. but I need to find out if it is public. Um, but I do know that on April third, that one will be public. Okay. So. Did you want to talk about that one? The April third sure. event. Sure. Uh, yes, that's yeah. going to be basically an event very similar to what you were the announcer for for mine. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's going to be at the Nerd Bar in Fremont. Okay. So all of you are invited. I'll put you on the guest list. Right on. That's literally at my job. Well, he works. He's a security <laughs> at Neonopolis. In oh, really? Yeah. Perfect. That's right down the street, right? Oh, literally, I work in there. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Neonopolis, right? <laughs> right in there. Yeah. 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 So that's so. Yeah. So it's going to be there April third, Saturday. Sweet. Time. Okay. Doors open at seven. Okay. And the show starts at eight. So how does that work? Explain if you know for those who are going to come maybe for the first time, what what will happen? How do they? What's going on there? They're going to the be event? seeing things they've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, this isn't just like giggity, an all giggity, pro. Giggity. <laughs> exactly, a lot of giggity going on there. Yep. Do I, ha- do I have to take extra heart medicine that Probably. Day? You, yes, you might. You might okay. want to have 911 on speed dial. You might. Okay. But this is going to be an interactive show where we get the crowd involved as well. Like, they can come into the octagon. They can come and challenge me if they want to. You know? Like... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you know? So it's going to be a mix of pro wrestling, real competitive wrestling mm-hmm. between female versus female. Right. Male versus female. There might be some arm wrestling in there. So it's just about, you know, strength. Guys, I think, I think we need to go cover it as respectful journalists 
and report back on the following show. Should, should we do a live, instead of doing a, a, a day broadcast that day, should we do a live broadcast possibly from uh, there that On night? April 3rd? Uh, why not? <laughs> that, well, that day is, sort, is the same day of what we were talking about before we went on the air. Oh, that's right. So, no, but that's all not the, the same. parts straight out the window. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that's not to say, if allowed by the nerd and, and, yes. and uh, Jennifer and her folks, if we want to set right now. We want to set something up. <laughs> Why not? Bro I mean, I don't know if you want to broadcast it as an event, but uh, you know, maybe we can go down there and do some live stuff uh, ahead of time. Interview some of the gals, so we have those pieces as well. We could figure something out. So sure, sure. just have your people talk and to I our didn't people. Mean to interrupt you. No, Keep that going, would be amazing. Please. Keep no, going. <laughs> so if it's like the show that I saw, which he's talking about, I mean, there was one match where it was uh, a, a two guys. It was a tag match, two sure. guys against two of the ladies. <laughs> Did they whip her? They whipped their ass. Those, the, those poor guys. They got their ass whipped, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Willingly, maybe, but let me tell you, there were a lot of chops and a lot of, mm -hmm. lot of, a uh, lot of standard wrestling moves by the ladies. Very impressive. Um, well, you, yeah, you I know, mean, you know, some people here on this dais right now have been in the ring before. Well, I've been in the ring. I've stood in the ring with a microphone. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about too. <laughs> So it's, it, it will be a fun night for sure. So that is April 3rd. Doors open at 6. 7. Seven. Uh, 7. And the event starts at what time? 8. 8. Mm -hmm. That's at the Nerd. And then on the 23rd, which you'll get me details about mm -hmm. if it's public or, or pay-per-view, whatever, for the Lingerie Fighting Championship stuff. Yeah, sorry. I don't know that. That's okay. No, no, no. That, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, so let's do this. Let us, uh, can you get uh, the Chiefs rant ready to go, if you don't mind, sir? And uh, what we'll do is we'll take a quick time out so the chief can get his thoughts together for the rant. I'll make it short. Oh, okay. All right. Why did you have to do this? You didn't, I, I, you just, is that what? Anyway, oh, I have so many things I could say, but I'll just let it go because Jennifer's with us here at the dais. <laughs> anyway, you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. I'm Aaron, Matt, Chief, and the beautiful Jennifer Thomas sitting in with us. When we come back on the other side, it'll be the chief's rant. More talk with Jennifer and some highlights of what's been going on in the world of professional wrestling. We'll be right back. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit you hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. This is John Cena. I just, I just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. Because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count any? I just wonder, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much, congratulations, and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere, because they do. All right, welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere. The crew is back. And I know the man has been stewing. He's got these thoughts in his mind that he is just ready to let loose like a hurricane. That means it's only time for one thing to take place at this time of the show. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Chiefs rant. Vince McMahon, you dirtball. <laughs> 45,000 people expected at WrestleMania, a two-day event, and I was going to talk about income tax, but the hell with that. 45,000 people unemployed, not working, no money, and yet 
you want to charge $2,500 for ringside tickets. And up in the nosebleeds, you want to charge $300. Where the hell's your heart, man? Where the hell's your heart? Lower the prices of the tickets so people can afford to come. You're going to have 90,000 people, 45,000 each day, 90,000 people. You're going to have an expose down there where wrestlers and people are going to be able to meet. You're going to charge for that. How the hell can they afford it? You're a cheap son of a bitch. And I hope you hear me because I'm not afraid of you because I ain't got nothing. So you can't take blood out of a turnip. But I'll say this. If you don't lower the prices, I hope people start protesting and start protesting your product. Because right now, you have no creative writing. Your product sucks. The only good product you have is NXT. And if you're only worrying about two matches right now, why? You've got, you got writers, supposedly Hollywood writers. Well, you know what? Evidently, they can't do their job. Or you're afraid that somebody in your organization is dropping the dime and announcing the matches before they even are announced by you and your company. So maybe you need to look internally. Drop the prices let the people come to your show. In fact, why don't you just make it a free show for everyone? That's the Chiefs rant today, over and out. There you have it. Free WrestleMania. Free, possibly. Sign me up. Sign me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'll be watching it from the You're comfort cheap of my home. You cheap son of a bitch. Send now, all hate mail to Chief. It that's why right, Chief anywhere. at the I <laughs> could, I got, I've got broad <laughs> shoulders, buddy. Don't even worry Which, about it. Which, of course, by then... You'll be able to watch it only on the Peacock Network. Fastlane coming up. You can still watch in the WWE Network and or Peacock. Yeah, because they got to make money. That's right. So everything will be moving over. I to guess the check Peacock your email. Network. They're sending out like things to get like the first four months of Peacock for like nine ninety nine. Well, where were they like two weeks ago? Well, if you go on Con, if you if you sign up for Contour, you get Peacock Prime for uh, nothing. Well, it's there you part go. of the package. Very nice. Well, how much you pay for Contour though? I have no idea. Oh, okay. They'll make up for it. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business here. So, real quickly, uh, April 3rd, The Nerd, doors open at 7, event starts at 8. What's the title of that event? What are you calling it? Woman on Fire. Woman on Fire. Yes, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's right. Exactly. The leader is right here with us. And then on the 23rd, the Lingerie Fighting Championship uh, event at uh, FSW. Uh, that card starts at what time? Do you, do you know? It starts at... 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to just keep an eye out on our Facebook page or on our website for being able to attend, whether in person or pay-per-view mm -hmm. only. I know FSW has their own uh, network right there you're seeing on your screen. Our website, thoughtscountanywhere.com. Loads of information, updates, news, and events all going on around in the world of pro wrestling. Of course, one of the biggest news right there, Christian Cage. Christian from the WWE shocked the world when he stepped out. Onto the podium, uh, not the podium, on the stage last week, signed, signing his new contract with AEW. Gentlemen, surprised who, that who, it was Christian? Who cares? Uh, who cares? Me? Okay. This guy. This guy. You care? Yes. I don't care. You So you can talk about it. <laughs> I don't care. That was a good signing. He's so good in the ring and, like, knows all, like, the behind the scenes. Like, he's a good teacher. Mm -hmm. So, like, all the newer AEW people that aren't, like, Ready for national television. Hopefully him and Big Show can do a lot to the younger people backstage and get them groomed. And Especially from a tag make team some standpoint. Big stars. Especially yeah. from a tag team with, him, with the, uh, obviously the history of, between him and Edge as well. Um, no, in all honesty, I do care. Uh, maybe he'll go to the Monday night show that they're going to start up. The this, new one? The new one this coming Monday, and maybe he's going to be a trainer. Is that the one that, that the big show or Paul White now is announcing all that? announced. And, so, and, and maybe maybe he's going to go there and train the young fellas. So is that going else. up against now Raw? Yes. So now you've got NXT and AEW on Wednesday nights. There's been talk of Raw, or not Raw, WWE maybe moving NXT to Tuesday yeah, to separate those two shows. And now we're talking about... AEW now having a show on Monday night to go up against Raw. Well, some fellow I know uh, told me NXT is probably going to move 
to Tuesday nights. And um, I won't reveal my sources. Is NBC signed a deal with the NHL and NHL Wednesday night hockey is a thing. Ah. That's going to USA <laughs> Network, so. Yep. There you go. So maybe that means, uh, I wonder if AEW now is going to consider their Wednesday night programming. <clears throat> Shout out to Sean in Calgary, who's actually watching us on Twitter. Thank nice. you, Sean, for checking in on Twitter. We appreciate it. Now, any, any of these topics around the world of wrestling, please feel free to chime in as someone who's been in the sport for so long. Uh, you, you can find, I asked you if you're kind of in tune with what's going on in today's wrestling industry, and you kind of said, not so much anymore. But that's because you're in your, your own stuff right now. You don't, probably don't have time to sit down and watch all the different shows now. Yes, but it is amazing because I did train with Cody Rhodes, oh, and okay. it's, it's amazing to see how, how far he's come. Mm -hmm. You know, and just where he's at now. And if I'm he just, gave you I'm a so call to join AEW, would you at least consider the call? Absolutely. Okay. I'm, All right. I, I totally take advantage of that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I want to go. A Hear that? That's opportunity knocking. <laughs> I, I want to go a different route, if if I may, for a minute. Mm -hmm. I know you're into health and fitness, and the old <laughs> the old guy here, since the COVID kicked in, um, has put on a few pounds like uh almost 60 and um hold that thought the white light is blinking we're walking towards the light as we have a caller calling in right now it is a good friend another thomas who's a big fan of the show mr thomas burnett thomas how are you buddy doing good how are you guys doing very well thank you Fantastic. what uh, what's going on man just wanted a little correction the aew show on mondays on youtube oh it's a youtube show well, I don't think yeah. we talked about what channel. We just talked about it going against Raw, but I didn't realize it was YouTube only. Yeah, it's only YouTube. They're not having a news. They haven't decided on the news show on TNT yet. So it's a free show then. Yes. Wow. Okay. Is it? Do you know the format? Is it like a sixty-minute show? Uh, it's probably just like the other dark. Like it's two hours. It's, cause this is called AEW Dark Elevation. Gotcha. Okay. And Very. The, and. The, the one of the first matches announced are the Seidel brothers against Royce Isaacs and Jarrell Nelson. There you go. Who, who Royce and Jarrell FSW products. Yes, yeah. sir. There you go. See, our fan base is on top of these things for us. Hey, That's you could, right. You, you got to keep the chief in, in line. You know, That's with, right. with my three quarters halfheimers, you got to keep me straight, brother. Sound I appreciate like 37.5? Almost 37.5. Thank you, Thomas, for calling in, buddy. <laughs> No problem, guys. Appreciate it. it. There Bye. you go. See, I knew. That's what I love about our guys, our friends. They know what's going on. Sometimes even better than we do. Yeah. <laughs> they should be in here sometimes. <laughs> so, so anyway, getting back to my thought, um, which I still have, uh, gaining sixty pounds. Any uh, any ideas on how to slowly lose weight and get back into shape um, <coughs> and not kill myself? <laughs> yes. And the way to do that is just bring up your activity level more than what you're doing now. Okay. Whether it be walking around the block a few times. Okay. And just making sure. I always say if God didn't make it, don't eat it. Eat all natural foods, you know, and um, stick with that and be consistent with it. And uh, don't, uh, you know, don't get yourself to a hungry point where you're starving. Okay. Because then that's where you want to Oh, I definitely food. don't do that. <laughs> you don't Trust miss many meals. No. But if you just stuck to like a... You know, all natural Healthy. foods okay. and just bumped up your activity later. I promise you, that is where one plus one equals two. That is so, and, and, uh, and, and I, I appreciate totally that. agree with that because over the years before I had gastric sleeve surgery th three years ago due to other medical reasons that I needed to drop weight fast, mm -hmm. no matter what program I followed, if I ate better and I moved a little bit more, things always changed. Mm -hmm. And even, you know, even for me with the COVID, I mean, the COVID-19 has given me the COVID-30. You know, no matter what, I mean, I'm, you know, you, you're just not able to do what you used to do. Correct. But I totally agree. If you move a little bit more and better nutrition, chances are you'll see uh, the results that you want to see and feel better and feel healthier. So Absolutely. especially if you have any pre-existing conditions. Well, you know, maybe if I go down to that show April, April the 3rd, I can move around a little Heck bit yeah. that night. No, let, let me just say this. If you go down to that show and you participate, you ain't going to want to move around. You'll be happy. You'll like some of the holds and all that. Anyway, I digress. Shut your mouth, you thong-wearing fatty. That's right. That's right. Think John Candy in the mud pit on stripes. That's all I got to say about that. This is pick on chief day. Okay, That's buddy. right. I got, I got you. There you go. No, all more, right. no more donuts for you, my I'm good. man. I, it's all right. 
I'm going to jump around on some of our different reports here. I don't here. think God made Krispy Kremes. No. <laughs> Amen, I guess. Well, maybe say amen afterwards. Who knows? Norm okay. Normally we get crazy after in this segment. I NXT announces NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver for WrestleMania week. We kind of alluded to that earlier uh, because uh, they're not involved directly with the WrestleMania show. So NXT now is coming up, which they do very well on their own standalone shows. And now they're doing it over that weekend. So uh, any highlight matches, anything that we can talk about that's already scheduled for that weekend that you know of, Matt? Tick. Ah. Oh. Karrion Cross is getting his championship match against Finn Balor. The Demon? I hope that's what it turns into. I think so. I agree. I agree. All right. So that'll be exciting to watch, and I think you can get more information about that uh, online uh, as oh, well yeah. for NXT TakeOver. Um, of course, we alluded to this earlier. The women's tag team on NXT New Belts were presented uh, to the winners of the May Young Classic, and then... Towards the end of that segment, Shotzi Blackheart and Amber Moon came out and challenged them. Yes. Because they were both winners of their respective divisions. Yes. And so with uh, William Regal standing in the ring, they had a match later on, and we have new world tag team champions for yes. NXT. Matt? Oh, so happy to see Dakota Kai finally get some recognition, and they rip it from her in like an hour. But how whatever. Do you, how do you really feel? She'll get it back at TakeOver. All right. There you go. Hey, that would be 30 day rule <laughs> only by accident if it happens <laughs> if that happens in the 30 day rematch uh okay andrade big news this week it was reported two things andrade apparently earlier in the week asked for his release from wwe and then a report came out late last night that uh his request was denied what do you make of that situation given that he's engaged to charlotte the only thing i could can think of is that if he asks for his release, he wants to go to AEW. Okay. He wants to go back and be managed by Selena. Okay. That's my thought. Okay. But I agree. You know, him and Charlotte are. Yeah, I mean that's very close. Uh, that to me would be very surprising, <laughs> but yes. yeah, just a little bit. Yes. Exactly. Did you see? Your, uh, do you guys watch that Stone Cold Steve Austin show where he spends like a day with a guest? Broken, I saw part of it. Broken yeah. skull. Mm, no, no, no. It's straight up with Steve. Straight Austin. up with the Steve. New Austin. One. Okay. Well, the he had one. this. The one that aired this past week after Raw was with Charlotte, and they were in L.A. They were in California, in uh, Newport Beach. Right. And he took her on this dolphin shark-like kind of motorized uh, boat. Yeah. Close the canopy. You can. I mean, he. I mean, he is certified to drive this thing going under the water. Then he comes up like a dolphin or a shark would. Did a 360 roll in this. Th I mean, it was the craziest device I'd ever seen. And the cameras, you know, they have the GoPro cameras inside. All you see is Charlotte just laughing hysterically how much she's enjoying this. You know, uh, it was it was interesting. It was it was speaking, you know, connecting. It was it was. I like Steve Austin when he does that stuff. Was he drinking beer? Of course. All right. Of course. My man Steve. He lost to horseshoes, though. Oversized horseshoe competition on the beach he had with Charlotte. It was all or nothing in Charlotte Beach. I him. think with the Andrade thing, yes. though, they should just release him. Because there's only so many prime years of a person's career in this business. That just to have them wasted in catering because you're bored and can't think of something for them to do. Just let them go and let them get to what they want to do in, like, their career. Well, you know, it's like I was reading before we started the show. Same thing with Aleister Black. Yeah. You know, there's, True. there's two good professional, young professional wrestlers, and they need to be given the chance. Right. Absolutely. Uh, Thomas Burnett corrects me that they won the Dusty Cup, not the Mae Young Classic. There was the Dusty Cup down at NXT. And also he says that the rematch clause was taken away a couple of years ago when the entire McMahon family announced changes. So I think it's one that should come back, but that's besides the Screw point. you, Vince. There you go. There you go. Did you get a chance to meet Vince McMahon when you were in the WWE? Yes. What was, what was he like in person? Well, it's, I have a funny story to tell you. Please, about Vince yeah. Actually, it was for a WWE tryout. Okay. And um, I remember... This guy, he says, you know, if, if you see Vince walking, you just move away. Like, you like literally supposed to just, like, clear the path. Parting the Red and Sea. And let, you know, you know, the Holy Messiah come through. <laughs> right? And I'm like, what? And I'm like, no. I'm going to treat him just like he's anybody else. Like, because that's just the way I am. Right. And so, Hell yeah. So, uh, 
I did it. He came, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm having this moment. I'm being tested right now, right? And uh, he saw me and this other girlfriend that I was with. He goes, how are you guys doing, young ladies? And we're doing, and I'm like, I'm fine, but I'm looking for the restroom because I was like lost back in the backstage. <laughs> and he actually went and showed us where the restroom oh, was. Oh, there you go. So oh, that, nice. was, that was my Absolutely. Vince McMahon moment. There you go. And I was proud of myself that I didn't get intimidated and that I like, you know, did not clear the path for him. <laughs> And you stood I, your ground. I stood my ground, exactly. There you go. There you go. That's mm -hmm. good. Now so. we know why she's as a tough mother as she is. Because <laughs> she didn't acquiesce to Vince McMahon. Are you kidding? Right. Good have, job. I Thanks. have a thought, but I'll keep it to myself. Yes, do so, do so if you don't <laughs> mind right. there. Uh, okay. Let's see. What other quick topics can we pull out of here real quickly? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Thank you. Oh, my God. All right. Let's talk about the end of the pay-per-view on, <laughs> I know, on Sunday. <laughs> The uh, uh, botched explosion that was supposed to take place uh, at the end of the barbed wire explosion match between Kenny Omega and John Moxley. The we... sparklers went off for sure, but Jesus Christ, that was the most. It that was horrible. It has. It has. You know, even though it didn't work, it has to be embarrassing, and it is embarrassing. Oh, of course. I mean, come on. You're. You're. You know, what's he running? Tony's running what? A billion dollar right industry right and you can't come up with some you know you, why didn't you get somebody from new japan to come over or or one of the japanese organizations to come over and help you with the ring supposedly there was some testing obviously not at that ring but there was there was some testing that had taken place of the same type of configuration previously that everything worked well now i shared with you guys uh, the video of Moxley doing a shoot after showing <laughs> off the air from the middle of the ring. Yes. Probably one of the funniest pieces I'd ever seen of, uh, uh, you know, talking about how, you know, this death match and then the freaking explosion was nothing more than sparkles and laughed at it. You know, the humor of it. Which Cody I thought was has more funny. pyro in his entrance <laughs> than went off during the explosion of that ring. Exactly. And Kingston's slumped hand. After nothing but smoke was appearing yeah, over like Moxley, was dead. It was right. hilarious. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, you know. I've lived around this country, New York, New Jersey, mm -hmm. um, New Orleans, out here, Seattle. Uh, you see a lot of great fireworks on the Fourth of July. Oh yeah. A lot of great companies here mm -hmm. in, the, in in the United States. You would think that. Uh, they would have asked one of them to possibly come in and help pyro. You know, who does their... They didn't make yeah. it to Jacksonville. Who, who, <laughs> who, who does their pyros, you know, for their... Oh, there's a, there's a still picture of the uh, explosion uh, Matt, at you're zero. So, Matt, you're so right. That looks like sparklers. It is. It, that's basically what oh initiated, God. initially went off uh, out of the corner. Then smoke came out of nowhere a little bit. Uh, but no, no explosion that was expected from all of it. It was such a good match, too, and it's just the ending. This is like a big letdown. Yeah, exactly. That was the biggest thing. A lot of other things took place. Uh, Scorpio Sky uh, turned on. He won the uh, Sonic Ring. <laughs> uh, he won. Uh, Sting and Darby Allen defeated Brian Cage and Ricky Starks. And uh, let's see. Let's quickly jump down to Impact. Oh, MJF turned on the Inner Circle. He's got his own faction now going on. So does that mean the inner circle now is going to become a face faction? Apparently, yeah. I just want to see MJF get his ass kicked. There That's all. There you go. Everybody so, wants yeah. to see MJF he, get his he, ass kicked. He does such a good job, you know, with, with his character. If you're a bad guy, if you're, yeah, if you're a bad guy and you get booed, you know you're doing your job well. Exactly. He's just like that in real life, too. I met him once, yep. and that was... Yep. And he's like in his early 20s. That's a he, pretty horrible experience. He's, he's like 24. Yeah, 24, exactly. 24 All right, real quickly, old. because we are running out of time. It is birthday time. We want to welcome and uh, not welcome, but we want to tell everybody to have a hopefully had a great happy birthday last week. And now if you're celebrating a birthday from today through next Friday, you are lucky enough to celebrate a birthday with these people. Hold on for a second. When is your birthday? October. I already looked. October. Okay. I already looked. It's on the Wikipedia page you printed out I was going to say, hold on. You have like three pages on her and you didn't write down birthday? You're going to note that for the October birthday list? Absolutely. Are we getting a little background there? Of course we are as he's looking it up. So here we go. So if you're celebrating a birthday today, March 13th, you are celebrating with Matt Jackson. If you are celebrating on the 14th, you and Santino Morella and Rath are celebrating on the 14th. The 15th, the Iron Cheek, Jordan Devlin, and the aforementioned MJF. On the 16th, Henry Godwin and Steve Armstrong. 
If you are celebrating on St. Patty's Day the 17th, you are celebrating with Samoa Joe and Test. On the 18th, Rick Martell, EC3, and Vanessa Bourne. And on the 19th, Rick McGraw, Jimmy Havoc, Matt Seidel, and AJ Lee. Happy birthday to all of those folks, as well as all of our fans and folks out there celebrating a birthday. We want to wish you the best year possible. All right, we have a couple minutes left. Let's jump into some pop culture. Then a reminder of Jennifer's events upcoming. And then the time will be up. It's amazing how the time flies. Uh, let's talk about our first pop culture topic, since this is going to primarily impact you a lot, Matt, down in Indianapolis, right? It ain't really affecting anything really down there, because going from like 30% to 50%, I think one of the restaurants is allowed to have one more table. Oh, really? Is that Another what it- restaurant's allowed to have six more people because of the social distancing. and Right. Okay. You know, I question. They're going to 50%, but does the 12-foot rule still apply? Uh-huh. So I instead of six foot, it's going to be 12 foot. Oh, it's six foot. It's six foot, yeah, it's not 12. I, I heard, well. That's for like live entertainment. I think they're letting like live entertainment come back and it's. It's 12 foot. Instead of like 30 feet between the performer and yeah. uh, I think it's like 12 or okay. 15 right. feet, right. something like that. And then forget schools. Now that schools are open, they're going to be opening. Well, they've been open for pre K through three. Um, there you go. There's, there's the answer to your question. Now that they're going to have everybody back in school April 6th. Thank you, sir. Then now, in order to get some of these kids back, they're going from six feet to three feet. They've changed the percentage of kids you can now have in the classroom. I mean, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. We're coming up on the one-year anniversary of the longest 10 days of our life. Yeah, right. Well, didn't it? Let's see, March 11th, it was yesterday was when it first was first, announced. First. Right, when basketball was being uh, stopped. Uh, stopped and everything. So it's a year already that all this has been going well, on. All the businesses crazy. downtown closed St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so uh, that's Monday. Now, Snyder Cut out on Thursday. Yes. Is that for the Batman? Yes. That's yes. Batman. I am Batman. Okay, that's Four out this greatest week. greatest hours of a movie ever, probably. <laughs> Superman or Batman? Superman. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming, Jennifer. <laughs> I will text you. <laughs> Why so serious? Stimulus checks. This, yes. The next, the third round, $1,400 maximum per family or per head, whatever the requirements are. That's been approved. Direct deposits out first and start, then live checks. Start checking this weekend, folks, for your uh, stimulus checks. Yeah, if I have, have to wait for a live if, check, unfortunately. If you have direct deposit. So maybe if I get my direct deposit before my income tax is owed, Erwin R. Scheister, where are you? Oh my I can gosh. pay my taxes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. March 23rd is what? Lingerie Fighting Championships. At? At FSW. Doors open? Doors open at 8. So the fun starts shortly thereafter. Correct. Okay. April 3rd? April 3rd. April 3rd, doors open at 7 p.m. at the Nerd Bar in Fremont, and show starts at 8. Both are going to be exciting shows. And, and Chief might even be in the ring that night, folks. Well, I really hope so. A staunch <laughs> reporters <laughs> will be there to cover that action that <laughs> night. <laughs> That'll be interesting. 8 o'clock? Eight o'clock. Okay, we're going to talk. I guess the first two people that are going to be at the nerd. That's right. <laughs> what time does it open today? I'll just go camp out now. Um, yeah. So you got put us on the list because I we'll will. and see if we can work something out, do some interviews or something with you, the ladies, whatever they'll let us do. You'll reach out to them as well because you know the folks down there. We'll see what we got going on. Jennifer, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate Love it. it. Appreciate it. Mm, Chief, say goodbye. What are we saying? Wash your hands. Wash your clothes. Wear your mask. It's not over yet. Let's stay healthy, folks. Love you all. See you next week. Peace and chicken grease. (laughs) Coming up at 1030, Rise of the Fan, where myself and Brett Lawson, we're going to have Ashton Ferguson from Opportunity Village here to talk about the importance of an an organization like that being involved with the Fan Action Nation. Then at 12 o'clock, Twin Brothers and Never Mother, Sal Santiago, will be stopping in with Neil and myself. Don't want to miss that. Thank you for watching Thoughts Count Anywhere this week, folks. We'll see you next time. As always, be kind to each other. Why is that? We're all we have. Thank you for watching. <laughs>